Okay, in this video, I'm going to turn on, so first things first, I'm going to turn on the camera. I'm using the non-bootable version installation for the CHDK firmware, so I have to turn it on, update the firmware, and then now I, now I can use the remote to trigger it. One thing about this camera is that it loses its settings every time you turn it off, so I always have to reset tungsten white balance and turn off the flash and set the manual focus to about 30 centimeters. I talk more about manual focus in the write-up. This board up here is parallel to the page cover, so it keeps the glare from showing whatever is behind the scanner uh, when the when the photographs are taken. So now I'm going to demonstrate the process. I have the remote here, so I can just push the button, and you'll hear that it just took a photograph. So for each one each photograph, I just push the page flattener into the V, and then turn the page. I'll continue to do that. You may uh, as it as you go, the scanner may tend to walk away a little bit, so you may want to keep it pulled back so that the lights are well positioned. And then once you've finished all the pages that you want to scan, so imagine that I scanned the whole book. I will just flip the book over and start on the back of the same pages. So I start I started with the title page, so I will start with the back of the title page. the page flattener in, and it doesn't really matter, because of the way the software is written, whether or not you line the pages up exactly between the front and the back. You just want to keep the book more or less in the same place for the whole batch of pictures on one side. So you just continue like that until you scan the whole book, and then you can go on to software post-processing. Mm -hmm.